Hey, this is Gina BNT Pest Control again. We got a customer that's got some German roaches. She's seeing them in the utility, not so much in the kitchen, so we don't know what's going on, so we're gonna go check it out. Already seeing some roaches there coming by the door. Looking around, we've seen a couple running on the steps, which is a little bit odd, so we're just gonna try to look around, see if we can find a food source, what's going on, where they're coming from, why are they hanging out in this area. Ah, there's one right here on the hot water heater on the line, running back down. Looks like he's going to this insulation here. Oh, I see some antenna hanging out in the insulation. So we're gonna move that and see what we can find. Saw a couple running up the line, going up, up that way. Here's they're moving around this area, going up the water lines, going into the kitchen where the water lines go through the wall. What are they feeding on in here? Uh, we got one running in this little rag right here, a little guy. There's another little guy right here. So there are some eggs that have hatched uh, actually pretty recently. So I don't know where this basket has been. I don't know if there's some droppings around here. Um, there's another one running on the outside, a couple. There's some dead ones down in there. There's an adult in here too in this rag. So not sure where these are coming from. Not sure what's on these rags here. We're gonna get out some material to stop the reproduction, to hit some heavy spots to kill the adults immediately. Also leave a residual. We're also gonna use bait. All right, so we're gonna go down here and look. Around water heaters, there tends to be a lot of vibrations. There's heat, a lot of things that they love. They've got protection in the insulation. It's possible for condensation to come on when you have cold water coming in, but they seem to love those areas. The same way you've got a washer and dryer, both of them produce moisture, either by condensation or a washer just fills up with water. So they do have water sources that way, so we're gonna check around here. We're gonna get out some treatment there also. So we saw some running right there, as well as going up under the water heater. So we wanna get some treatment all around there. Places it doesn't make sense to put bait, uh, but also this material we can bait on top of. That one there died right away. So that's it for the treatment on there. Next step is we're gonna get some bait out. Where are some great places to put bait? Anywhere you see roaches. I'll get underneath the tape. There he is here, so even I'm not seeing anything, that's a great place for them. I can go right here by these joints, right here where the insulation connects the pipe. We're gonna go right down the side of this pipe right here. If you saw the last roach video, don't gob it. You want a whole bunch of little bite-sized pieces in a lot of different areas. So we see droppings in these corners. So it appears they're following this line all the way across. So everywhere it comes in contact with the wall, I want to put bait. So I'm going to go all the way across here to where it no longer touches the wall. So as we're looking at the door also, uh, we see lots of droppings right around the bottom of the door here. So they could very well be going right into this area. There's an animal door that could be going through there underneath where it's not sealed. A lot of different places for them to gain access to the kitchen. We did see some in this insulation down here. So we want to move this insulation back. And, oh, there's one, two, three, four, five in there. Try to get enough tape back in there. We don't want to take their insulation off. They got it taped on there, but we do want to put some baits in there. Make sure they got plenty of food because we're not gonna have much out here. So we wanna make sure that they're eating our food. So warmth and vibrations, easy access. So we're gonna get around this electrical here. Be careful messing with any electrical. We just wanna get a little bit of bait down here where it goes into the unit itself. Right around these areas, anywhere you've got access and any kind of plates that come off uh, to access whatever kind of appliance it is when you see German roaches going around an appliance, you wanna make sure and get some bait in these areas. Heat and elements go right into the tank, creates plenty of warmth. When they come on, the electricity creates vibrations. So that's why we're putting some bait right around these guys, perfect hiding places. Here we have a dust bait delivery system. We're gonna stick it up in these wall voids here and fill up there, so areas that we can't access to get other baits, just to make sure we've got plenty of coverage. Step, stool. I can stand on the crutches and balance on one. Please. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna reach this best way we can. We're gonna put there. 
just like that, we've got some dust bait in those voids. So we are gonna put some bait around the bottom plate of this door. So we've seen some activity in those areas there. All right, here's a void. Oh, that's a nice void right there. Through this track. Oh yeah. Oh, as we put it in, we've got them running out of those areas. We got a different one coming out. So he's not fully developed yet, but he'll soon be into a full adult. Got more roaches coming out, coming out from here, going into there. I think the main culprit is between the water heater and this void behind these trim pieces here. Alrighty, so this is the door going to the laundry room. This is where they're coming from. So we wanna get some treatment around this door also. Sometimes we gotta get in areas we don't like to be. So we're all done in here. We've got some treatment down. We've got some bait. We think we found the issues and got it taken care of. So that's going to be it for this one. Like and subscribe for more videos. We'll be back soon. Hope you will. Ooh, my tip.